Hey guys, welcome to Differentiation Week 4 Review. We'll be looking at properties of curves, maximum and minimum points, uh, points of inflection, stationary points, and a bit of second derivative in this um, session. So, these are the five questions we'll be looking at today. So at this point, what I would like you guys to do is just pause this video, try these five questions, uh, and then I'll go through the answers once you're ready. Okay, I'm assuming you've actually done done the five questions. Um, so here we go. Let's go start with the question one. So with question one, it says find the x values of any points of inflection on the graph of the equation y equals e to the power of 6 minus x squared. Um, so for points of inflection, remember that um, f double dash of x is equal to zero. So you've actually got to work out f double dash of x. So first step is we know that f of x is e to the power of 6 minus x squared. When we differentiate this, um, for exponential differentiation, we write the function as it is, which is uh, e to the power of 6 minus x squared. And it's multiplied by the differentiation of the power itself. So in this case, it's negative 2x. So f dash of x equals negative 2x multiplied by e to the power of 6 minus x squared. Now we got to work out f double dash of x. The problem or, or the constant mistake people do is when they look at this, they don't actually see the product rule. And it's really important that you see the product rule because you've actually got negative 2x as one function. And then you have e to the power of 6 minus x squared is another function. Okay, so I'm going to call this um, v and u. All right, so if I was to differentiate f dash of x, um, I'm going to get f double dash of x, and I've got to use the product rule for this. So I'm going to get u dash v plus u v dash. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out what um, u dash, well, u is equal to negative 2x, which means u dash equals negative 2. And v equals e to the power of 6 minus x squared, which means v dash is equal to negative 2x e to the power of 6 minus x squared. Because I already did that from f dash of x, so it's pretty much the same thing. So now... I know that f double dash of x is equal to u dash v plus u v dash. This means I have negative 2 multiplied by e to the power of 6 minus x squared plus negative 2x. multiplied by v dash, which is another negative 2x, e to the power of 6 minus x squared. So what I end up with when I simplify this is negative 2 e to the power of 6 minus x squared plus 4x squared e to the power of 6 minus x squared. Right, so now I know that f double dash of x has to equal to 0 for point of inflection. I'm just going to make that note real quickly. So then 0 equals negative 2 e to the power of 6 minus x squared plus 4x squared e to the power of 6 minus x squared. Now I know that um, e to the power of negative e to the power of 6 minus x squared is a common factor. So this could be written as negative 2 plus 4x squared. So I've got two products here multiplying to equal to 0. Now I know that e to the power of 6 minus x squared can't equal to 0, okay, because that's well, it's not going to work because of the asymptote. Well, not asymptote. Um, you can't actually have e to the power of any number that's going to equal to 0. So that does not going to work, which means negative 2 plus 4x squared equals to 0, 4x squared equals to 2 x squared equals 
to a half and therefore x is equal to plus or minus square root of a half and that's where my two points of inflection are okay let's go to question two okay so question two says for what value of k does the function f of x have a stationary point at x equals to negative one okay so i mean the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have to differentiate it so if we have f of x equals x minus e to the power of x minus k over x when we differentiate this um, i'm actually going to write f of x properly first so i'm going to write this as minus k x to the power of negative one so f dash of x equals one minus when you differentiate e to the power of x it's just going to be e to the power of x and here i'm going to get uh, plus k because negative one times negative k is plus k and then x is to the power of negative one minus one so f dash of x equals one minus e to the power of x plus k x to the power of negative two and of course this could be written as one minus e to the power of x plus k over x squared now we want to try and figure out what k is so that it has a stationary point at x equals to negative one so in other words we know that f of negative one equals to zero because if it's a stationary point we can assume that the gradient is zero so we've got zero equals one minus e to the power of negative one plus k divided by negative one squared and what you end up with is zero equals one minus e to the power of negative one plus k and therefore we can say k equals e to the power of negative one minus one all right if you want to simplify it you can put it in the calculator and you'd get negative 0 0.632 but putting your final answer as this is absolutely fine as well cool that's question two there folks um let's go to the next question oh by the way real, real quick point is that the both of the last two questions that i've done they're they're both merit questions um you know in the first previous question that we did if you had found that the first differentiation you'd get an achieved in this case uh, in this question you would literally get an achieved um, there and the second green mark is where you'd get your merit point okay let's go to question three question three is a achieved question so for the function f of x find the x values of any stationary points so basically it's differentiating it and putting it equal to zero so we've got f of x equals x plus 16 over x minus 2 now i'm going to write this um, i'm going to write this as x plus 16 times x minus 2 to the power of negative 1. okay so differentiating this f dash of x is equal to 1 uh, plus 16 times negative 1 and x minus 2 negative 1 minus 1 multiplied by the differentiation of whatever's in the bracket in this case it's 1 so what you end up with f dash of x is 1 minus 16 x minus 2 to the power of negative 2 and so we know that uh, turning point is when f dash of x is equal to 0 so I'm just going to write that there so we can say that 0 equals 1 minus 16. Uh, now the x minus 2, I'm going to bring it to the denominator. So I can write it like this. And rearranging this, I'm going to get 16 over x minus 2 squared equals 1. So 16 equals x minus 2 squared. And so I can get 16 x minus 2 equals to plus or minus. Uh, let's do one more step first. x minus 2 squared equals 16. So x minus 2 equals plus or minus square root of 16. x minus 2 equals plus or minus 4. And if we separate it, so we've got x minus 2 equals 4. Or 
x minus 2 equals minus 4. So in this case, I'm going to get 6. And in this case, I'm going to get negative 2. And then those are my two correct answers. And this question is worth an achieved, folks. And unfortunately, you have to get correct solution with correct derivative for um, to get an achieved for this. So like I said, I mean, it's a lot easier to get merit sometimes than to actually get an achieved. All right, let's go to the next question, folks. Okay. So question four, it says, find the values of x that gives the maximum value of the function f of x is this. Um, now, there is an extra bit in all of them um, that I've kind of skipped out. Is For this particular question, it actually says um, that you must uh, show your working. Uh, no, that's not it. Oh, you do not need to prove that your value of x gives a maximum. So in some questions, they actually say you don't need to prove it. And when they say they don't have to prove it, we kind of assume that the point you're calculating is a maximum. Um, and it says you must use calculus and show clearly show you're working for any derivative you need to find. So now I know if you guys have been following my videos, you probably recognize this question from um, last week's video. All right. So what we got to do is we got to differentiate f dash of x and then put it equal to zero and solve the answer. So we've got f of x, which is... 50x minus 30x ln of 2x. So what you can do is um, you need to work out f dash of x. But I need you to recognize that you actually have a product rule coming up here. So where you've got 30x equals to u and ln of 2x equals to b. Okay, so I'm going to do that first. I'm going to put u equals to um, 30x means u dash equals the 30 and I'm going to put v equals ln of 2 of x which means v dash equals 1 over 2x multiplied by 2 and v dash equals 1 over x so now if I was to write f dash of x so differentiation of 50x is 50 minus and I'm going to put u dash v plus uv dash like this now the reason I'm doing it like this is because I'm going to leave the negative one outside. Now you could have actually done it as u equals to negative 30x and do it that way as well. Um, up to you, however you want to do it, and you'll still end up with the same answer. So f dash of x equals 50 minus u dash is 30 ln of 2 of x plus uh, 30x, which is u multiplied by 1 over x, which is v. And so what you end up with is f dash of x equals 50 minus 30 ln of 2x plus 30. And now this can be simplified. Uh, so f dash of x equals 50 minus 30 ln of 2 of x and then negative 30. So what I end up with f dash of x is 20 minus 30 ln of 2 of x. Now, I know that a maximum value occurs when f dash of x equals to 0. So I can substitute 0 in and I've got 20 minus 30 ln of 2 of x. Rearranging this, I'm going to get 30 ln of 2 of x equals 20. ln of 2 of x equals 20 over 30. So I can write that as ln of 2x is equal to 2 thirds. So now I can say 2x equals e to the power of 2 thirds. And so x is equal to e to the power of 2 thirds divided by 2. And this could be simplified to be 0 0.974. So what do you need for achieved and merit in this case? Uh, for achieved, if you can get up to here, you get you sorted with an achieved. And for a merit, obviously, you need your final value. Cool, that's how we do this question, guys. We go to the next one. All 
All right, so question five, you've asked to find the values of x for which the function is increasing. So what we're going to do is we've got to work out the f dash of x first. So I'm going to do that first. So f of x equals 8x minus 3 plus 2 multiplied by x plus 1 to the power of negative 1, which means now f dash of, negative, f dash of x is going to be 8x becomes 8, negative 3 becomes 0, plus 2 times negative 1 multiplied by x plus 1 to the power of minus 1 minus 1 multiplied by the differentiation of whatever's in the bracket, that's 1. So simplifying this, I'm going to have f dash of x equals 8, uh, no plus, minus 2 times x plus 1 to the power of negative 2. Rearranging, not rearranging, simplifying this, I get well, not even simplifying, just kind of writing it nicely, I guess. 8 minus 2 divided by x plus 1 squared. Okay, so this is what my um, f dash of x is. Now, for a function to be increasing, I know that the gradient has to be positive. So f dash of x has to be greater than 0 for an increasing function, which means uh, I can write this as 8 minus 2 x plus 1 squared has to be greater than 0. So now rearranging this, I'm going to get 8 is greater than 2 over x plus 1 squared. And rearranging it, I'm going to get x plus 1 squared multiplied by 8 is greater than 2. x plus 1 squared is greater than 2 over 8 x plus 1 squared is greater than 1 quarter and so x plus 1 has to be greater than plus or minus square root of a quarter. Now square root of a quarter is a half so x plus 1 is greater than plus or minus half and so I separate my two answers. The first one I'm going to have plus half and the second one I'm going to have minus half and when I do this with my first one I'm going to get x is greater than negative half or x is greater than negative 3 over 2 there's my greater than and those are my two answers folks so for achieved looking at a correct derivative which is here for a merit you're looking at here Cool, that's it for this question, folks. And guys, that's basically it for this session. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, pop it in the comments below. And yeah, thanks.